a, uh, a study, the host of the root server is most often an internet exchange point and the operators of that exchange point will have a very good idea of the size of the networks and the amount of traffic that go through those, uh, those exchange points. And, uh, and so the, the trick is to oversize, of course, to, to build um, more capacity that, than is needed. So it, doesn't, uh, it, it does not need to be an, ac an accurate uh, matching. But I see that uh, there's a, a comment which may be related. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, Bill, sorry. To, uh, yeah, Paul is exactly right. Um, that in theory, uh, you can do the math to figure that out if you have a whole bunch of different data inputs, which would require data from all 13 of the existing root name server operators, right, so that you would know how much existing traffic there was, plus routing data from the location that you were going to put it into. So that's the kind of calculation that's done routinely by internet service providers who are looking at uh, bringing their own presence into an exchange point, but when you have 13 different or 12 different operators that you'd have to get data from, uh, it suddenly becomes a much more complex question, whereas the, the local host can just eyeball it and get a pretty good idea. Um, I, I've installed a lot of servers of this basic class and exclusive of customs fees for getting the equipment into the country to narrow it down a bit basically fifteen to twenty five thousand dollars cost for whoever's putting the bill but in general the local host probably won't have to pay for much or any of that can i just add to to uh to um, we are we are actually like like I mentioned we are developing our tools and and our monitoring systems. Um, so, for example, in our case, we use this probing system to try to to figure out the behaviours in in our in various locations around the world. And one of the things we've been wanting to do and and at the moment we 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 kind of working on making our tools more sophisticated, but um, installing probes in locations where they're not, where we haven't installed an instance and then see how that behavior changes when we install the instance. But yeah, I, think, I think Paul explained it well. And, and the reason it's been so useful for us to work with, with organizations like APNIC is that they, they know the region, they know um, not, um, not only the, the, the industry, so to speak, um, but also, where there's technically competent people, uh, where it would make most sense for an instance. So, yeah, I hope that answers your question. Thanks, and thanks for your intervention, Bill.